Get your oil now. The last hour of temptation is coming upon this world. I just got a word from the Lord in his word through prayer, okay? This is a very important video. Please don't skip over this video. If you are a Christian or an unbeliever or whatever the case is, listen, Jesus is the truth. We're at the point in time in history and, and we're living in the book of Revelation, okay? And I'm gonna share with you what the Lord gave me to share to his bride, to his church, the overcoming bride, the five wise versus the five foolish, okay? And I have some scripture that I'm gonna share with you today. And I'm gonna try to speak quickly because this is very urgent. My oil almost ran out. My lamp was flickering. That's why I haven't been creating that many videos is because I was not on fire. I have not, I did not, my lamps and the oil was running low. But the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you so much through pushing through prayer, even when my flesh didn't want to, I broke through. See guys, we can pray these little prayers in the morning, these little prayers at night, these little prayers when you're eating, but I'm talking about the breakthrough prayers when you are praying in the Holy Ghost and when you are praying and interceding and you have reached that point where God's Spirit is hovering inside of you through you all around you, okay? And that's when I received the words from the Lord because, listen guys, we're in a constant battle. There's a spiritual warfare going on all the time, constantly in the spirit, in the realm of the unseen, but it is more real than the things that we can even see right now with our physical eyes, okay? So let's get into this. I'm first gonna go in 2 Timothy 3, 1 to share with you the last days that we are in, okay? Everybody watching this video is young and old, please heed this warning from the Lord Jesus Christ to fill up your lamps with the oil from God. 2 Timothy 3, 1 says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Isn't that what we see in these last days? So many people are pursuing their own thing, their own will, instead of God's will, guys. If we profess Jesus Christ, let us know the will of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. It's saying from people who deny the power of God, having a form of godliness, you know, they go to church on Sundays, you know, they might have a Bible study here and there, but they're still living in their own will. It, God says, turn away from such people from them. For these are the sort of they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away by diverse lusts. That word lust, guys, isn't just sexual. It doesn't have to be just sexual things where you're looking at the beauty or the, the vain beauty of women on the outside, on the flesh exterior, okay, or vice versa with women. It's talking about lust, your own will, your own desires, your fleshly cravings rather than the cravings that come from hunger and thirst after righteousness. Ever learning, this is the crazy thing, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Who is the truth, guys? Jesus is the way the truth and the life. These are people who are forever trying to learn, forever going to Bible studies, to churches, to, uh, to college, seminary school, okay, but they're never able to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's scary, guys. This is the real deal. Listen, listen, let me go to now where we need to get our oil filled. How do we get our oil filled? Listen, prayer, thanksgiving, reading his word, time with the almighty creator guys we're living in this parable of the ten virgins this ministry is called seeking wisdom ministry and it's because i ask god for wisdom i pray to god i want to know wisdom lord i want to know your way i want to know your will i want to have wisdom i want to know the truth the way the life i want to know you i want you to know me i don't want to get to heaven and one day you say depart from me in everlasting fire so let's look at the parable of the 10 virgins. Listen, I'm, I'm hyped, I'm excited. I don't care if I sound crazy because God is alive. I, I'm crazy in love with my creator. So let's look, and he filled me today back with the fire of God, and I'm so thankful. Matthew 25, one. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto 10 virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. That they were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. What do the lamps and the oil represent? Well, listen, this is the revelation of the, of the lamps and the oil. And there's many angles, but this is the one that the Lord gave me through another man of God. Ready? The lamps are the profession. You profess Jesus Christ. You profess Him to others. You profess Him. The 
oil represents the Holy Spirit. Are you filled with the Holy Spirit? Because unless you are baptized and filled with His Holy Spirit, walking in His ways, then you are without oil. So let's look at the people who came without oil. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, that means it took a little bit longer, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. And as I said before, guys, my lamp was running low. It was running low, but thank God he filled me back up. Pray that times of refreshing may come. All right, let's continue. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered and said, No, not so, lest there be not enough for us and for you. But go rather them that sell and buy for yourselves. So how do, where do we go to buy from God? I'm going to get into that in Revelation 3. We go to God. We go to the source. We go to Jesus Christ to buy the oil. Hallelujah. All right. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. So why they went out to seek for the oil that they, they're seeking for God. They're see, people who are seeking are forever not able to come to the knowledge of the truth. They're forever seeking God, yet never being able to find him. So while they went seeking and went to go buy, the bridegroom came. Jesus came and they said, and they that were ready went with him into the marriage. Hallelujah. And the door was shut. And we know that in the word that any door is shut by God, it will be remaining closed. And any door open by God, it will remain open. Unless the Lord shuts it or opens it, it will not open or shut. We need to understand that. No man, no flesh will be able to glory in his presence. No man will be able to say, I shut the door, I opened the door. No, God did everything. Afterward also came the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Open to us. Lord, Lord, we profess your name. We got our lamps, but no oil. Lord, Lord, Lord. Ready? Watch. But he answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man cometh. It says, I know you not. Do you know in the other scriptures where it says these they casted out demons and prophesied in his name and did many miracles and wonders? It says, He says, I never knew you. You can never know God. And then there's points where you where he says, I know you not, where it means I don't know who you are right now because you have tampered and fallen into the flesh of the world and into the things of the world and the pleasures of the world. Listen, guys, you need to know Jesus Christ and he needs to know you. Get your lamps filled with oil, please. I'm pleading. I'm pleading to people right now. I'm pleading to the younger generation. I'm pleading to the older generation. I'm pleading to Generation Z, Y, X, W, whatever the case is. I'm pleading with you today. Fill your oil. And this is the word of the Lord here the words of Jesus Christ in Revelation 3. This is to the church of Sardis and to the church of Laodicea. Let's look at this, guys. This is for all of us right here. Revelation 3.1. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it from my phone real quick. All right? So you guys can understand a little bit more clear. And this, this is word for word. This is what you must write to the angel of the church in Sardis. And I don't know if you guys know this, but this is John. This is the one whom Jesus loved, it says. Okay. There, there are people who were closer to Jesus Christ. Peter, John, and, um, um, Peter and John were very close to Jesus Christ. Um, but let's look at this. This is what you must write to the angel of the church in Sardis. I have the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Listen to what I say. I know what you are doing. This is written to the church, guys, of Sardis. Everyone may think you are alive, but you are dead. Wake up! You have only a little strength left, and it is almost gone, so I so try to become stronger. I found that you are not completely obeying God. Listen, guys, there's not a lot of people who are completely obeying God. They may profess Him here, they may obey Him here, but you have not yet surrendered yet. You have but a little strength, so this is your warning in love. This is me, your brother in Christ, nobody, through the Spirit of the Lord who lives inside of us. Go to the Lord, seek the oil. Verse 3, remember the teaching you were given and heard. Remember, guys, what the word of the Lord says. Hold firmly to it and turn from your sins. If you don't wake up, I will come when you least expect it, just as a thief does. A few of you in Sardis have not dirtied your clothes with sin. So a few of you that I'm talking to right now, you have not yet dirtied your uh, clothes with sin. So don't go and do it yet. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep in, keep in the spirit. Keep going. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. But we need to keep walking in him, okay? Uh, this is the word of God. Listen, this is alive. Do we understand this? I, I just, I'm so happy. So, all right, ready? Everyone who wins the victory will wear white clothes. Their names will not be erased from the book of life, 
so that the malishes won't say they always say, but we can say a prayer and that's it, guys. We have to endure. We have to keep walking. We have to keep seeking. God will meet us there. It's a covenant. God will do his part. He's faithful. We need to do our part and seek him and call upon his name. For all those who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Ready? All right. Because you are, you will walk with me in white clothes because you are worthy. Everyone who wins the victory will wear white clothes. Their names will not be erased from the book of life. And I will tell my father, his angels, that they are my followers. Praise the Lord. If you have ears, listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. If anybody has ears today, listen to what the Word and the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you today. The letter to Philadelphia. This is what you must write to the angel of the church in Philadelphia. I am the one who is holy and true, and I have the keys that belonged to David. When I open a door, no one can close it, and when I close the door, no one can open it. Listen to what I say. Didn't you just read? Just read that they will. The door has been shut to the marriage supper of the Lamb. The, the door is going to be shut to many guys. Listen, I don't want anybody to be shut to the glory of God. Please. I know everything you have done, and I have placed before you an open door no one can close. You were not very strong, but you obeyed my message and did not deny you are my followers. Now you will see what I will do with those people who belong to Satan's army. So there are people who did not deny him and kept going. But now you will see what I do with those people who belong to Satan's group. They claim to be God's people, but they are liars. I will make them come and kneel down at your feet. Then they will know that I love you. So do you know that there's going to be people who are going to be, for the people who are faithful and remain in God, that there are going to be people who profess him and are liars, but part of Satan's group, part of Satan's kingdom, doing the will of the devil instead of the will of God. And they're going to kneel down before you who God has loved. And that, that's nothing to boast about yourself, but it's all God. But God's saying, I will do this. I will do this to Satan's group. You have obeyed my message and endured, so I will protect you. I will keep you from the time of testing everyone in the world must go through. I'm coming soon, so hold firmly in what you have. No one will take away the crown uh, you will be given as your reward. So let no man steal your crown, guys. Do you know that that hour is coming? We are in that hour of temptation that is soon going to be happening. It hasn't happened yet because that hour is the tribulation. But the bride, the one who has made themselves ready for the Lord, will be prepared and ready to be taken up to go meet with the Lord. But unless you have the oil, you will not be able to enter. So today, fill your oil. Get your oil today. Instead of that hour when it comes and then you don't, uh, you go to the wise and you go, hey, hey, I want some oil. They're going to like, no, I don't, I don't want to give you any oil. You got you to gotta go get your oil yourself and then it came. Get your oil, guys, today. So let's continue going. Everyone who wins the victory will be made into a pillar in the temple of my God, and they will stay there forever. There's a, there's a place forever, guys, where we were going to be able to stay with God. Just keep going, keep pushing, keep pressing. I will write on them, on each of them, the name of my God and the name of his city. It is the new Jerusalem. My God will send down from heaven. I will also write on them my own new name. If you have ears, listen to what the Spirit of uh, the churches say. Or the Spirit is saying to the churches. He's going to have a new name. And those who are His are going to know it. Praise God. This is the last letter, guys, to the church of Laodicea. But this is to all of you, okay, in the sense of everything is for us and for the edifying of the saints in Christ Jesus. So let's look. Let's get fed. This is what you must write to the angel of the church in Laodicea. I am the one called Amen. I'm the faithful and the true witness and the source of God's creation. Listen to what I say. I know everything you have done, and you are not cold or hot. I wish you were either one or the other, but since you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spit you out of my mouth. We need to understand that there are many people in the body of Christ who are going to be spewed out. You have to eat the word of the Lord and stay in the body of Christ, abide in Him. Do not go forth into the world because He will spew you out if you are lukewarm. You claim to be rich and successful and to have everything you need, but you don't know how bad off you really are. You are pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. Buy your gold from me. This is where I'm talking about. Buy the oil from the Lord. We can buy gold from him too. Ready? What is gold? Ready? It has been refined in a fire, and I will make you rich. Buy white clothes from me. Buy white clothes from the Lord. Wear them, and you can cover up your shameful nakedness. Buy medicine for your eyes so that you will be able to see. Okay, there's many people who have infections in their eyes today that are going to be opened in Jesus' name. I claim that. There are many people who are naked today, but after this video, not glory to me, glory to God, they're going to awaken and clothe with the remnant white glory of God today. 
so that you will be able to see and walk. I, this is the good news for those listening. If you're suffering for Christ, just listen. Look what God does to his children. I correct and punish everyone I love. So make up your minds and turn away from your sins. Listen, I am standing and knocking at your door. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will eat together. Everyone who wins the victory will sit with me on my throne, just as I have won the victory and sat with my Father on his throne. If you have ears, listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. There is a day, guys, where we, the overcoming bride, will be able to sit with the throne, with, with God on his throne. That is a real thing. That's a real reward. Let no man steal your crown. Don't let sin drag you down anymore. Cut it off today and get your oil filled because God is faithful. Listen, I had to get my oil filled today. I'm no exception. I don't act perfect, but I want to be perfected by the perfecting spirit of the Lord. I want to strive for perfection by his perfecting spirit. So today, someone today, heed this warning. Fill yourselves with the oil of the Lord and be, and be ready because he's coming. He loves you. So right now, say this prayer with me if you want to be filled with oil, be filled with the spirit, and be ready for when he returns because he is faithful. Lord Jesus, thank you, God, for your love and your spirit. Pray this with me. I pray you fill me with your Holy Spirit. You fill me with oil. You fill me, God. I trim my, my, my lamp, Lord, that I may be ready. Give me strength. Give me grace and mercy. Forgive me in my sin. I repent and I turn, turn towards you. I trust in you. I have faith in you, the way, the truth, and the life. And I thank you that I'm now forgiven. I thank you, God, that I'm now ready. I thank you, God, that you have made a pathway for me to come to you today. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that and you meant it and you believed in your heart, listen, this is the truth. God is faithful to me. In Jesus' name, be ready, saints of God, because the time is ticking and we want to be ready and servants that are faithful. Amen.